Shalom people of God, we are today May 13, 2023, so this morning we were in prayer meeting with the brothers and sisters, and we were sad as we had just lost a brother in the family, everyone was sad, and we were worshipping and praising, and then my eyes were opened, I saw the angels as they arrived, in fact the room was so full, the whole house was full to the point the house was saturated with angels, and other angel who came from the kingdom of heaven were suspended in the air above the space where we were, in fact the angel of the word of God was there with them, we were all praising and worshipping the Lord with all this company of angels there, there were several angels there in the room hanging, but I saw an angel in particular, who was responsible for anointing souls in prayer meetings all over the world, in fact he had in his hands a kind of container which looked like a censer, and when someone is praying, when the soul of that person is very sad, and his spirit is truly broken and dejected, if this person is really sincere in his prayer, the sadness and sincerity of his heart pushes the Lord to send this angel to pour his anointing on this person to recharge his batteries and comfort him, so this angel was there with us in the room that morning, and I saw how he saw sadness in despite the fact that we were in adoration, and I saw him pouring oil on all of us. There was one mother in particular who was so sad she was so down, I saw this angel the pouring the contents of his container on this mother, it was like an oil that shone like gold and that was transparent, it was really special, and he also poured out this anointing on each one of us, at that moment I saw at the gates of heaven, there were souls of the saints that stood there before the ancient gate of the city, these souls were afraid, confused, troubled and others were even appeased. So each soul looked ahead, hoping that their name would be called and the portal of heaven would open for them. They hoped that the angels would call their name and bring what they need to enter the kingdom of heaven, in fact when souls were called, at the call of their name these angels brought either a white dress, to save them at the last minute or the last millisecond if necessary, this is when they had failed to wash their garment completely, it was in this case that the angels came with the garment belonging to that soul and for other souls, they brought them either golden shoes or crowns made of gold, but everything actually depended on the works of the soul concerned, first, I saw a man when his name was called, the portal of heaven opened wide, and three angels came out to welcome him with his white dress, and his golden shoes and his golden crown, and I will open a parenthesis at this level, according to what the angel who was next to me explained to me. There are certain souls whose dress has been so defiled on the earth, but they did not give up, and despite the battles that they had experienced, despite the attacks of the enemy, despite every opposition that they fought as a battle on earth they kept their garment pure and holy, they may have taken a hit at the level the shoes, that's why the angels brought replacement shoes at the gate because the shoes that they wore were worn out in the battles on earth. So this soul that had overcame and had entered the pearly gate was a pastor, brethren the crown of this pastor sparkled so much, there were several precious stones on this crown, and when the pastor saw the celestial inheritance, he threw himself on the ground and started screaming with tears, he was filled with emotion and he cried with joy, he cried and said to the Lord, I am not worthy no no Lord I am not worthy, I do not deserve this. But the voice of the Father thundered from the throne once more by saying to this man of God, My son, enters into the joy of your father, and the Father once more ordered these three angels to clothe this pastor with the resplendent garment of the purest white, and to escort him to his golden mansion in the kingdom of heaven. The angel who was next to me explained to me that this man of God on earth wore modest clothes, he did not steal from the sheep, he cared about them, at least on the contrary he paid his tithe, he also paid the tithe of tithes and he was loyal. The angel explained to me the loyalty in question here, he explained this to me, whenever this man of God launched a fundraising concerning a need in the ministry or a personal need, if he said for example that the instrument costs 5,000 francs and a soul pledged to give him the 5,000 francs, he will use the money to pay for the thing he spoke about and if they give him 10,000 francs he takes the 10,000 francs he goes to buy an, an item of 5,000 franc, and if there is a remainder of 5,000 and he need to buy something else he will buy and will go back to the person giver in order to give account to him how he spent the money, 
he will confess what he bought with the relicat of the 5,000 francs, he will tell him you gave me and I spent the 5,000 francs but the 5,000 francs that remained I had a need and I spent them on this and that. The pastor entered heaven escorted by these three angels to the glory, then the portal closed, secondly I saw in front of the gates of heaven another pastor, when his name was called and he stepped forward, I noticed that he had a worldly hairstyle, he had shaved his hair I don't know how to explain to you, the left side was low, the right side went up it was a bit like a hill, that's how he did the hairstyle, I don't know what we call this hairstyle, but that's what I saw and the pastor overdressed, and whenever a soul gave him money for a need he has, for example if the article that he wants to buy costs 5,000 francs he will lie that the thing costs 15,000, he will spend the 5,000 francs to buy the thing he needed, the 10,000 francs will be spent on his hairstyles, in these fashion tailor-made outfits, in fact he took care of himself, but he didn't did not take care of the ministry that God gave him, he did not take care of souls, in fact he was selfish, he used the remainder of the money that he swindled from these souls for his personal needs which were not even necessities, they were not even emergencies, he did not even consult the Lord to ask for what he could do with it, it was money stolen, already he had a bad foundation, so this is a bit the kind of life he led, and he did not give account to the soul that the Lord used to give him this money that he stole, this is what he was doing with the money. These are these things which caused him to lose his salvation, the door to heaven remained closed before him, and the Lord spoke with a voice of thunder, Get thee behind me, away from me, at that moment another soul was called, he was a young, the young man had died after this pastor who was still there before him, the two die in the same time one before the other, the pastor died first then the young man, actually the young man was praying in the assembly of this pastor, I would like to point it out to you that the young man was a sheep of the pastor who had the strange hairstyle, in this encounter I first spoke of the pastor who had managed to return to heaven where we all come from, you must always remember that we came from heaven and we must come back home, the second pastor is the one who misses heaven because of a lie, selfishness and everything that you were able to observe in what I explained. The young man I am going to tell you about pray in the assembly of this worldly that had strange haircut and misuse the church money, so when the angel called the young man's name, his life was exposed, in fact whenever someone's name was called the person's life appears on the screen and everybody could see the person's life, so while I watched the images projected on the screen the angel explained everything to me because I didn't understand, he explained to me about the young man that was in front. Actually this young man was very surprised to find his pastor in this place being judged and condemned, the pastor was there when the life of the young man was projected on the screen, we were shown that he dressed very tight, he also wore very short clothes like short, men's shirts and underpants, tank tops, that's how he dressed, that was his style, in fact he often wore a tank top and an underpants and he goes outside like that, he is comfortable like that or he wears a bottom shirt and a very short sleeve and top very tight, that we generally call bodies for men, which really outline the shape of the man muscle and belly, what young people today call six pack or chocolate bars muscles, that's how he liked dressing sexy like that to expose his muscles, he called that to be well dressed, and when he dressed like that the angel who was next to me explained this to me that, underpants and the tank top are underwear for men, if a man wears a tank top, a t-shirt and short and go out in the street, he is naked before the Lord because he is immodest, if he also wears a tank top with or the underpant or short he is still naked, but today this generation dresses like this to leave the house and wandering around in impudence, men sleep unconsciously with girls and these men are considered prostitutes, this is how the angel explained to me, this is what happens when men, young men, even dads, dress like that and they leave their homes, all the girls who go to look at them, even certain men who are homosexual, when they look at them and they already have envy unconsciously, they have already slept with this type of people who dress like that, it's what the angel was explaining to me because in the eyes of God these men who say that they are well dressed but are naked, when the Lord looked at them he sees that they are naked because they are very poorly dressed, they are dressed immodestly, 
and this young man and his pastor were thrown into hell together, and while the whirlwind was bringing them to hell, the sheep who was the young man insulted his pastor, the pastor also scolded him defending himself, and they started to fight in the whirlwind like that, they insulted each other like that as they bicker while they were falling in hell, and I saw yet another man, he liked ballerinas for men, and the angel explained to me that ballerinas for men cannot be sanctified, listen carefully to this, it is a parenthesis that the angel told me, it means that there are things that are sanctifiable and there are things that the Lord can never sanctify, this is what the angel said, he explained to me that ballerinas cannot be sanctified because it is an invention of the devil, designed in the depths of hell, this man you see he had a whole collection of ballerinas, the angel was already showing me all that because we saw it on the giant screen, he had a whole collection of different ballerinas of several colors, and he was very arrogant, he did not like being approached by people even in his neighborhood, he had pushed his family to fear him instead of fearing God, he too was thrown into hell because of that, and the angel of the eternal said this, go say these things to men and pastors so that they convert and be saved, holiness does not only concern women, stripping from world fashion concerns you all, strip yourself that which is worldly, and when the revelation was given to me it was 11.09 am, and it ended at 12.44 pm, here I came to do my part by sharing this to save souls, because most often we focus on the stripping of women from worldly adornment, certain men ask the questions but ultimately the Lord sends you this message, he has sent his angel to say that self-emptying is for men as well, sanctification and holiness concerns men and women, we are all concerned, even our children, I don't have anyone's blood on my hands, I transmitted as I received, 